Welcome to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. Today we want to talk about feng shui enhancement just for women. Traditional feng shui always focus on the male or the breadwinner, but today the male and female should be equal. And there are certain areas we can focus to enhance money, career, and health luck for female. The first area is your makeup vanity or your makeup table, and it's usually in your bedroom. That's the area representing the female and the area we can enhance to increase your luck. And the second area is your closet or the dressing room. And the third area is in the kitchen, including refrigerator and pantry. But in general, kitchen belongs to the woman of the house and we can enhance the whole area or focus on the pantry and also the refrigerator. Besides these three areas, if you have your own private space, such as a home office or your own desk or a crafting room, then you can focus on the feng shui of that area too. The first one is the makeup vanity or table. If you have choice, set up your makeup vanity in the lucky direction of the house or lucky direction of the bedroom, and especially the money area or money corner. There are many ways to decide the money corner. One easy way is the 45 degrees from the entrance door and that's a powerful corner to set up your makeup vanity. Another way to choose the money sector is according to your house facing and seating direction or using the yearly chart. You can look at the 2019 yearly chart on another video to find out your money corner or other lucky directions. Once we decide the location of your makeup vanity, you can set up feng shui enhancers on top of the makeup table. You can place money jars with coins or dollar bills or jewelry, something valuable and uh, representing wealth to enhance your money luck. You can also place crystals here. And different colors of crystal has different meaning. If you are looking for more money, you can use green or yellow crystals and pink for relationship and use purple or clear crystal for cleansing the space. And make sure you have enough lighting in this area that can increase your energy. And to have a good feng shui, we also have to follow the general rules for the bedroom. That means the makeup mirror placement should not face the door directly or face the bed directly. And when you're sitting down in front of your makeup vanity, your back should not be facing the door. That is also not good feng shui. The second one is the closet or the dressing area. Again, we have to follow the general feng shui rules. If you have a dressing mirror, it should not face the door or the bed directly. And you have to keep the closet area very clean, organized, and clutter-free. If anything is outdated, you should not keep it there. You can donate or throw away. The closet area is the hidden money area. It's an area you can save and accumulate your money and wealth. We can set up the money area in the far corner of the closet, probably on the top level. We like to set up the money area so it's a little hidden so people cannot see through how much money you have. And you can place a safe here to store your valuables and set up a money jar with coins, money notes, the dollar bills, or jewelries, or place crystals here. 
a crystal jewel is a good item to have here because it's bigger size and representing bigger wealth. And don't forget about the proper lighting. Any space that's too dark cannot generate good qi. The third one is the refrigerator and the pantry area in a kitchen. The general rule is to keep your kitchen areas clean and clutter free and throw away any expired food or the food that's not healthy. In the old days, the food is money. So kitchen is an important area for money feng shui. And we don't want to have overflowing food in the refrigerator and the pantry, but we don't want it to be empty either. We have to keep our pantry and the refrigerator stocked with proper food depending on how many people in the house and how often you eat those food. And the feng shui enhancement for the kitchen in general, you can place lucky bamboo or money trees because plant is suitable for the kitchen. And again, you can place crystals or if you want, you can set up a money jar and you can place feng shui animals such as pi shou, qi lin, or the three-legged money frog. And one good item to place in the kitchen is a salt lamp, because salt lamp belongs to the fire element, and kitchen is the fire element too. So salt lamp is suitable for kitchen and can cleanse the air and bring in good luck. For the maintaining of the crystal, we all know that using the natural crystal is the best because of the natural vibration and the energy. After a while, a crystal will need to be recharged. And how do we do that? Here are some of the options you can try at home. The first one is to place the crystal under the sunlight for a couple hours. The second one is you can place a crystal in the freezer for a couple hours or overnight. And the third one, you can place it under a clean running water for a couple minutes. Or you can use the salt water or the coarse salt or the natural sea salt to cleanse the crystal. Also, you can use the incense burner either at home or if you go to temple, use their incense burner and the smoke can recharge the crystal too. You can also place a smaller crystal inside a bigger geode for a few hours to recharge the small crystals. After recharging, you can place the crystal in red paper, either wrap the red paper around or place a crystal on top of the red paper to enhance the yang energy because the red is related to yang. Sometimes in the nature, the energy can be too much in, so we need to make sure it's not too in before you start using the crystal again. So that's a few tricks for feng shui enhancement, especially for females. Thank you for watching today and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. See you next week.